hello students this video explains on structure and functions of nucleus structure of nucleus nucleus is called a controlling center of the cell most of the cells have just one nucleus and they are called uninucleate see here the muscle cell i have shown you the muscle cell the first picture we show it has only the single nuclei and other cells are known as binucleate for example in the case of paramecium we can see the micronuclei and macronuclei they are some cells are multinucleate respectively however there exist some mature cells where nucleus may be completely absent that we can see in case of uh, rbc such cells are called enucleate the red blood cells in mammals and the sieve cells uh, the tube cells in plants are enucleate the macrophages they are they are these are multinucleate the shape of the nucleus varies uh, from round to elliptical oval shaped or disk like nucleus the nucleus is enveloped by a double layer membrane known as nuclear membrane the nuclear fluid called nucleoplasm or carrion lymph is enclosed in the membrane so there is a network of fine thread like matter called chromatin network which contains the dna molecules histones arranged in particular manner the nucleolus nucleoplasm chromatin thread like arrangement and nucleopores which are present on the surface of nuclear membrane the structure of nucleus the outermost layer it is nuclear membrane is also known as nuclear envelope it encloses the contents of nucleus during the entire life cycle of the cell its inner lining is coated with proteins and our membrane disintegrates during the cell division nuclear lamina the nuclear lamina is composed of mesh meshwork of intermediate filaments which anchors nuclear pores and chromosomes and supports nuclear envelope chromosomes they contain genetic material of the cell dna molecules are embedded in the chromosome there are two types of chromatin euchromatin and heterochromatin present in the chromosome nucleolus the structure is densely stained in the nucleo nucleus and it is divided of nuclear membrane ribosomal ribosomal rna is present in the nucleolus in the region known as nuclear organizer region where that is uh, it is rich in rrna nuclear pores the nuclear membrane is perforated with pores known as nuclear pores which help in establishing communication between the nucleus and cytoplasm coming to the functions of nucleus the first function it is compartmentalization of cell the cell compartmentalization is the function of nuclear envelope it it uh, entails the separation of contents of nucleus from the cytoplasm in order to maintain the identity of the nucleus the nuclear envelope also separates the cytoplasmic process from the nuclear process and prevents the translation of unsliced mrna which is the product of the mrna splicing process inside the nucleus second function expression of the gene one of the most significant function of nucleus is gene expression through dna uh, transcription the nucleus is the site of transcription it involves the active activity of different types of proteins that helps in unwinding of dna synthesis of growing rna molecule supercoiling of dna and finally the entering of actual transcription process that is nothing but the synthesis of r that is rna is three types all three types of rna that is mrna rrna and trna where mrna has a role in the translation process second the third one third function is processing of pre mrna the newly synthesized mrna molecule is also known as a primary transcript undergoes post transcriptional modification before getting exported to the cytoplasm post transcriptional modification takes place in the nucleus and it involves the various biological process like 3 prime polyadenylation and 5 prime capping and rna splicing these vital process are required before the initiation of protein synthesis or translation this is the mrna without splicing that is the pre mrna before processing where you have exon 
intron and exon so intron are non coding sequences exons are coding sequences and these removal of introns it is done by spliceosome small nuclear ribonuclear proteins and this removes this non coding sequences and ligation of coding sequences you will get a mature mrna so this mature mrna it transported from nucleus from the nuclear pore to the site of protein synthesis on ribosome the next function integration and disintegration the assembly and dis uh, disassembly of nucleolus is a characteristic feature of the process of cell division the cell nucleolus function is basically associated with apoptosis or programmed cell death and furthermore the envelope and lamina of nucleus undergoes disintegration during the cell cycle duplication of chromosomes to form new genetic material of the daughter cells is also important function of cell nucleus and replication of dna takes place inside the nucleus during the cell cycle nuclear transport nuclear transport is carried by the pores present on the nuclear envelope the entry and exit of nucleus is controlled by the structure the cargo proteins are carried from cytoplasm to the nucleus with the help of exoproteins while macronucleus like macro molecules like rna are exported to the cytoplasm in the association with importins and karyoferins so thus transportation takes place efficiently through the nuclear membrane so here you can see the uh, structure of nuclear pore where you have a spokes like arrangement which control or regulate the movement of molecules in between the nucleus and cytoplasm nuclear pro pores present on present in the nuclear membrane there does the function of selective diffusion of cells the regularity and energy molecules to the pores in the nuclear membrane is uh, presided by the nucleus so here you can see the outer membrane the perinuclear space inner membrane nuclear lamina ribosomes and nuclear and it is a structure which shows the nuclear envelope anatomy and nuclear pore complex structure sixth function of nucleus it is synthesis of ribosome takes place inside the nucleus nucleus is also responsible for secretion of ribosome ribosomes in turn gets credit of synthesizing all types of protein it is mainly the composed of rrna ribosome mainly composed of rrna it is certainly a vital organelle in the cell in humans it is linked to several diseases like muscular dystrophy and premature aging so it has a link to cure several diseases understanding of different different aspects of nucleus it certainly it lead to a major medical breakthrough scientists are still trying to explore more facets of nucleus so that they can explore deeper into various features of this organelle thank you for watching